even number, then he takes an odd number. For no some reason, this even odd is the trick to this. Because, yeah, this is another motor design. Weird. And then you, uh, you take odd number of coils on the outside, on each side, this side and this side. Hey, we got someone now. Good. Okay. Yeah, hold it just like, you know, like, it's, yeah. And don't ever let loose. Don't you're never supposed to like, hey, here's the magnet, you know. <laughs> just, yeah. They really yelled at me about that. I got another magnet too, and see, well, whatever he, if he's put ones here, you can put one opposite too. So I don't know where it went though, but we'll find it. It's in a little green white box, green and white box. Maybe it's in here. But, anyways, so this is kind of fun. There, see? And also, uh, let's see what the. Now, this is new stuff we're doing right now because. Uh, I don't really know if it's going to make it charge better. Yeah, see now that's gone up to 12.77 already. And if you've ever, like a car alternator doesn't even charge car batteries that fast, I don't think, as far as I know, you know, it usually takes a while for it to go up that high. So I'm also worried we're going to get it to go so fast we're going to blow up this rectifier, which is really possible. So um, OK, so now I don't know what else to do. How much time do I have left? We have another 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Hmm. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, questions. There's no questions. Let's see. Uh, I, could, I was going to take apart this motor on right up here on stage, just rip it apart. If you want to do that. Uh, we can, does anybody want to come up and try this or not? The Norbidium, no? Yeah. Um, God, usually I, I, I can't, I, I get cut short and I can't think of, oh, no. I guess that's it. But how, how many, uh, how many watts <laughs> were put out? How many watts for a house? I mean, you need, what, 200 watts? Well, what you do is you have a battery, well, you know? I need amps. You need amps. Yeah, don't ever lose your grip of that thing. Isn't that, isn't that fun? For, for a house. Well, it's like the amps is how many batteries you want to have. You know what I mean? And it's a it's a factor of, of charging your batteries up you know, rather if than. You want to run a fridge? You want to run the lights? And yeah. Run the furnace well, see, you could do that right now with a bunch of batteries with an, with an inverter on it. But this thing will keep the batteries charged up. Something but out here and something in there, right? So you need a bigger bigger motor design. Yeah, or you can have a bunch. You can have more motors. You know, have. One motor charging up two batteries, and have another motor charging up two batteries. And have well, another. no, I want it to run the house. Yeah, well, uh, what I think with the house is is it won't like do a stove or anything, you know, because it's unless you unless you have twenty batteries. See, you know, you can always get a lot of amps with a bunch of batteries. Could we use the power from the, the uh, from the public? Yeah. To power it. Uh, if because you want. Because it's going to take less. Yeah, but you'd have to cut it because that would be AC current, and then you'd have to put a diode on it, and it, and it will, uh, it'll be inefficient if you do that. But you could do that, you know. Yeah. It'd be cool to try 110 mm -hmm. volts. This is only 12. Yeah. Oh, you should. Oh. You have to be DC. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Just them right down here. Yeah. If you put a coil around that big neodymium magnet, if you get some output from that. Oh yeah. Probably would, because you can feel it pulsating. You can, eh? I bet you could, then. Yeah. Well, geez, that's... We don't have to go 30 minutes if you stop. Oh, this will be good. Soon, then we can have dinner. Yeah, this is, this is this good. Is good. Yeah, it's very so, good you think that might work? Take it up, take the power off your yeah. conventional power. Yeah, except you'd... I'd be worried about putting 100 volts into something like this. Well, you'd have to increase the you, wire size uh, like for your coil. You'd, you'd have to have... You'd have to do a lot of different things because uh, uh, I think about 36 for what I got. But you could do it 110. You just use real thin windings. You hardly you draw any amps. You know, just draw all your volts. Or you do thinner wires. Yeah, maybe so because those yellow uh, splatter windings, those are actually 110 volt solenoids. They're oh, yeah. coils made for 110 volts, but they hardly draw any uh, amperage. What's uh, what's feeding the um this device. What's creating that current? Uh, I have a little nine-volt battery there that 
goes sends a little trickle juice through those little reed switches okay. and that goes into the low you know a relay you know you have the low side and then the high amp side yeah. and so uh, I could like have a have a pickup winding or I could bleed it off the main power supply but I want to keep that isolated so I just have a just a battery there because I'm worried about blowing up that MOSFET. Oh, oh, what? let me give you a warning. Oh, I just warning. remembered something. <laughs> you don't want to get that, see these relays? Yeah. They're solid state, so don't put that near Didn't. these or these things. Okay. They'll keep it on this side of the motor. Is and this north on here? I don't know, you know, you can't really, t one side will work and the other one won't, okay, so, so, you know, okay. you'll find out. What's, so. what, what's actually creating the current for the relay, though? Uh, what's the spinning uh, it's uh well the nine volt battery has the low side current that trips it the relay on and off but the current was through the battery there's a little nine volt battery over there yeah oh they're getting they should get right here okay okay so here you want this okay thank you very much thank you thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could try, really. <laughs> Seriously.